Hey yo, holy sh shit. Hey yo. I think. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice has been really fucky. I'm a little tired. I gotta be honest with y'all. Jesus Christ, man. Alright. Let me just pull up a uh, chat on my phone. I do not have, uh, I do not have two screens, so I have to use my phone, unfortunately. been a minute y'all um four months it says i was last live just working on other stuff um didn't really it, it was stuff that i didn't really want to stream you know because i wanted it to be sort of a surprise i guess so all the uh dead men walk drop two stuff that i did um didn't want to stream any of that wanted it to kind of hit you in the face when it dropped um but we're back, and we're back with uh, a little bit of another surprise. Um, I'm back to making Vulture art. So for anyone who doesn't know, Vulture Laruk is my cartoon um, that I'm trying to get off the ground. Uh, I have a pitch Bible out. Um, I have a version with commentary as well. So if you're interested, definitely uh, look at that. I also have an animatic for my uh, a hand-drawn animatic. It's kind of rough, but um, for the first episode. So again, if you're uh, interested in that, definitely take a look at my uh, YouTube channel, um, youtube.com slash at Um But yeah, we're going to make a bunch of promotional art, some more art. Um, I also have um, some, some other art in the same vein uh, on my Instagram, at SchmackityZone. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get cracking. So this art, I already uh, pre-sketched all of these uh, art streams that I'm gonna do in the next few months. Um, I already have kind of a starting point, which is why I kind of wanted to stream this in the first place because I had the idea in my head. Um, and so I actually drew this uh, on receipt paper at my day job, um, with obviously like a few edits here and here, but. Uh, yeah, um, without uh, really giving out any, you know, too much lore or anything about the cartoon, um, this is the main character, Vol Vulture, and this is a, an enemy that he encounters uh, called the Numachi. And uh, we will uh, get going. So before I start, I want to kind of talk about my setup for anyone who hasn't seen my previous art streams. Um, I start at least this is me personally um, this isn't necessarily a prof professional way of doing it this isn't how I learned how to do it in school or anything like that um, typically a scene like this would be 1920 by 1080 um, at uh, 72 resolution because it would be digital um, I expect to make prints out of it so you could bump that up to 300 if you're making physical um, art out of it um but yeah i will uh probably make prints of these eventually so i'm going 300 and just to secure the quality of it i bump it up to 4800 by 2700 which is really unnecessary it's something that i personally do just because i like preserving my art um you know as uh <laughs> the years go by just so that they don't get compressed and um you know they, they don't get the the quality doesn't get lost over time so that's just what i do and yeah so you guys can see what i'm going for um typically when you're uh making art you want to start with a sketch which uh, i came out strong with this uh sketch right away it wasn't like 
um it wasn't just like you know some loose shapes i kind of had the idea in my head as i was drawing so it came out uh, a lot clearer already so typically you would uh make a sketch you would uh revise the sketch um and then you would make the final version because this is already pretty revised off rip um i'm just gonna start uh inking it which is the final layer and because uh we could we could just use black we'll just use black now for my brush i'm very simple i like a nice uh hard round brush with like no spacing so it comes out real clear like this i don't like uh any like pressure differences or anything because if you get pressure differences it'll be like this and then as the line gets further it'll be like that you know depending on how much uh pressure you put on the brush i'm not into that but yeah i usually start out with a baseline um sort of width to my brush and i just keep going so that's what we're gonna do just deciding on where I want to start first. I think I'm going to do the background in its entirety. And then I'm going to add uh, the two characters here. I might even add uh, this, uh, these two skeletons later as well, but we'll see when we get there for now. <clears throat> for now, I'm just going to sketch out uh, a little further because as you can see there's sort of a border here and the reason why there's a border here I, I brought um the image down into the center a little bit so that it would kind of fit a little better compositionally um because otherwise it looked really i guess crowded and i think we can add more detail and make it more uh i guess like expansive in a way So we're just going to really roughly, uh, I usually like to sketch in this hot pink color. It's best to sketch in like lighter colors because you're going to have to draw over them in black later. I'm um, assuming that's the color you use for your outlines. I'm going to do something like that. A lot of times uh, you could, if you're if you're doing something like this, um, I'm just gonna create a cl uh, clipping mask here. Whoops. And then I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool. Whoops, what did I do? Must have hit the wrong key. Anyway, you use the eyedropper tool, grab the color of this uh, pencil that I drew this in, and then I'm just gonna do that that way it looks like it's part of this a little more obviously it's not perfect because the brush is different than the pencil stroke but um I, th I think it fits in a little better i'm gonna merge down so i don't waste a layer and then i'm just gonna keep drawing in this uh color brush bring this back down to 10 I'm glad they uh, uh, put some little John type beats in this playlist. That feels great. That's gonna get me pumped. I'm 
I'm just going to kind of roughly draw these uh, water lines here. Maybe draw like a little bush here. A couple trees. Maybe even some more bushes behind there. I feel like Bob, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. A conundrum that I always uh, run into when I'm making art like this is I never know when to like stop drawing the background because at a certain point you're just gonna keep drawing this and then 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 this and it's just gonna keep going like further and further back um, but you also don't want like the background to look too empty at least in my opinion so it's kind of like a Kind of like a middle ground, no pun intended. Sometimes you just gotta kind of fill it out with a flat surface, add a little space, a little depth. I think that looks pretty good. Um, we still might have to, we'll just draw some quick water lines here, some ripples. And then on the left side, I know there's a little bit of white space still. So same thing. Just real, uh, real rough. Cause we're still on like the, the original sketch phase technically. And we're not really going to revise. Like I said, we're just going to get right into inking. Um, at least in my opinion, I feel like it's a little unnecessary to make a revision layer of all of this when it's already pretty much kind of drawn out. You know what I mean? It's not just like, you know, it's not like I drew it like this, you know, and I just didn't know what I was going for. I kind of have like the whole shape kind of planned out. So we're just going to get right into the final layer. So, um, I'm just going to add this to this uh, sketch here. It's pretty important to uh, name your layers. I don't do it all the time, but I often I often end up getting lost if I don't. So I think we're just going to start out. Um, we'll just start out with this uh, big mossy rock here. Something I find myself doing a lot more lately is sort of just making a space in between and then I can go zoom in close and kind of like fill it in. Um, it makes it a lot easier instead of trying to like kind of like re, you know, do this perfectly. It's just, it it's hard because then you got to zoom in and then you got to erase some of it. And then you gotta re kind of fill it in. Still looks a little fucked up. But 
yeah in this case you can see um this angle isn't really gonna look too great it looks kind of kind of weird it is a rock so it doesn't matter ultimately too much because it's sort of an organic shape and organic shapes are kind of unpredictable so if i wanted to do something like that it's not you know the worst thing ever it's not something i would do but you understand what i'm talking about I also find myself uh, rotating the canvas a lot more lately and to do that you hit the R key and then um, you hit shift to make it go in 45 degree int intervals so that it doesn't uh, you know kind of end up in a real awkward kind of way ultimately it doesn't matter if you're more comfortable doing it that way I just personally like 45 degree intervals so it's nice and uh, straight um, I think we do something like this. And because this is uh, sort of dipping into the water here, and this is really just the the water line, we're gonna do something more like this maybe a little less flat on the bottom here kind of just again show depth show where the the height of the water is at the bottom there I think that looks a little better. Okay, I lied. Sometimes I don't hit shift. Sometimes uh, when, when I'm streaming, compared to like when I'm working on art by myself, I'll say something. Because I don't fully realize I do something <laughs> when I'm like in the process of making art. And then I look like a dumbass. That's, you know, that's what making art's all about. Whoops. Do something like that. And then I think because this isn't, you know, meant to look perfect, it's supposed to look a little uh, off because it's a natural. Yeah, what if we do it like that? Yeah, we'll do it like that. We kind of we don't want this to like intersect uh, perfectly. Is basically what I'm getting at. Um, this again, same thing. We're not gonna. It's a little further back, so you want it a little behind here. Oops. <clears throat> pretty good I think I want to make it more flat do something more like that I think that looks a little better even this I think I'm gonna make it go deeper and have it be more flat short too
All right, so that's a rock. We drew one rock so far. So we're off to a good start. I gotta take my hoodie off, hold up. It's cooking in here. Oh my God. All right, let's get it. We're gonna draw another rock. I'm gonna draw this big uh, monster here. And uh, for all this, all these details, like this uh, moss and stuff that I want to draw, I'm going to um, do that on a separate layer. For a few reasons, I guess I'll show later. Mostly just because if I want to change anything, it's a lot easier. Um, if I have to erase part of this or something, I can just erase it without erasing any of the rock. But, yeah. Alright, let's do... Something more like this. And then this is this is kind of like two rocks here, so I'm gonna do more like something like that. For this rock, we're gonna we're, we are gonna draw this grass right away, just because it's not too complicated. Have a little, uh, you know, hang down. Maybe have a couple little patches of like flat ground. Again, to give a little depth. Another thing you can do, um, just to kind of show which grass blades are sort of a little closer, just kind of extend these lines past the intersection so they, again, give a little more depth. I think that's always a good thing to do. And so you'll, you'll often see me switching between um, the B button, the B key, and the E key a lot. B is for brush, so I can draw, and then E is to erase. And you'll see me uh, hitting Control Z to undo a lot, so keep that in mind if you're interested in getting into the realm of digital art, especially with Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to... Do this. Do a little something like this.
Now I think it's a good idea to kind of make this come to life a little bit. Now I kind of want to follow this line too. gonna kind of do something more like this whoops Follow this line a little. Extend this out a little bit. We're going to make this a little more defined so that it kind of pops out a little, and we're going to have to tuck this in a little bit. I think that'll make it look better. I feel like it looks a little more realistic now, a little more. Um, sort of pronounced might even have to tuck this in too Sometimes you gotta clean up your lines a little bit to get that equal width. And then um, anytime I finish even like a little part like this, cause this is done now, this looks good to me. Um, I'm going to hit control S to save it. You're going to want to do that like constantly because sometimes Photoshop crashes. Any program you use will probably crash at some point if you know, you're not, uh, if things aren't working properly, if you're not careful, you could lose all your progress if you don't save. And now I'm going to hide this layer. I'm going to just name this uh, Two Big Rocks Ink for now. Whoops. And now I'm just trying to see what I can do next. I think it'd be a good idea to... Um, yeah, we're going to name this Waterline. And I think it'd be a good idea to kind of uh, draw the edge of the water here. Something like this. 
And this is gonna go behind a lot of things. So it's not too important. Um, as you can see, there's kind of like a water line back here as well. So we're gonna kinda, whoops, do something like this. Wait, am I tripping? Nope. Oh. Okay, yeah, I am. Okay, hold on. Sometimes you'll realize that, uh... You're kind of drawing <laughs> over the wrong thing off of your sketch. If there's a lot of detail like this. This is a log right here. So it's meant to look like Vulture kind of like uh, either crawled under this log or like jumped over it. The water line is here though, not uh, right here. Or right here is where I had it. So just keep that in mind. You won't always be uh, spot on. I think this line I meant to have erased. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't meant to be here. It's sort of a... Uh, A relic, if you will. So we're just going to kind of white it out a little bit so it doesn't confuse me in the future. At least in, in this part, it makes sense, because this is like, this line works right here, because this is like the edge of the rock, but the stuff that I whited out is good, so, we're going to name this water line, then we have these two big rocks here. I think because this log is so big, we're gonna do this log uh, next after this rock. I think that'll be the, the, the vibe, if you will. But let's do, this rock goes behind these two. I'm just gonna name it uh, Other Big Rock Pink. And this, this rock that we're drawing right now is going to be pretty, I want to make sure that, uh, we got the right size brush here. This rock's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to hide this waterline layer for a minute here. So again, it doesn't confuse me. Got to make sure that we're on the, the black brush. I find that I have uh, trouble drawing horizontal lines, so I uh, make them more vertical because your hand goes more like this better than it does this. It'll be like a lot, uh, kind of like, it won't follow as much of a straight path. When you go up and down, it, it tends to do that a lot easier, so. I'm just gonna roughly draw this rock line. It's not going to matter too much because um, ultimately most of it is going to get covered by this, uh, you know, these vines and these weird uh, kind of like uh, fungi or whatever this is. If you look at like swamp scenery and like video games or like um, other cartoons, uh, you'll see stuff like that. <laughs> I'll definitely look up uh, references later when we get to that point. I don't think I'm going to do it right away, though. It's 
So there's the other rock. Sick. Control save. Um, I'm gonna make this line come in a little more. Um, it doesn't really matter if we erase this part right here or not. I just like doing it to uh, not confuse myself later on where lines short, uh, sort of meet and end. Drink some water. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do this log next, and so again we're gonna rotate our canvas. The log goes behind all of these, so we're gonna put it under these. I'm just gonna name it log ink because it's pretty much the main log here. Um, gonna zoom in quite or zoom out quite a bit. Sorry. So I can try to get this all in one uh, one sort of stroke here. I usually find that when I go faster for like long lines like this, I tend to do better. Uh, right now, that didn't happen though. So I guess we're gonna try to go slow. Hands are a little shaky, so. Forgive me. I feel like that's a pretty good log. Pretty good log shape, you know? Maybe I'll bring it, um, I'll bring it up later. I'll bring it up later. Um, but because I want to bring it up later, I think I'm gonna do the details right away so I can bring them up together. So we're actually going to draw the moss and stuff right now and these little uh, mushrooms. I'm going to bring it down a little bit and then go back to this uh, details layer. I'll label it that. So there's some moss. I kind of like when it uh, kind of... Uh, protrudes off of the log so it's not just like flat so that's you know just something that i keep in mind when i'm doing you know details like this you still want it kind of flat whoops maybe do like a, a do like a bigger patch right here And then since it's on the bottom, some things could be drooping down from it a little bit. Low gravity. And then just add a little uh, textural details, I think. Make it look a little cleaner. We could do something like that. Something like that. also add some uh, sort of grass protruding off or I guess big like sorry uh, pieces of like algae I guess pieces I don't know if that's the right word but maybe like uh, clusters maybe maybe even some kind of behind the horizon of the viewing angle we could do that over here as well. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and make these mushrooms right away. I'm really into what I got so far. It's a fruit fly in my freaking room, dude. What's up with that, dude? I also kind of like to make it look like um, maybe... one piece of uh, algae or one group of algae sort of is uh, like kind of like making its way towards another one or like it got separated at some point when the tree was growing or something you know th things like that you know I think make it look a little more realistic um, or as like realistic as it can get for a cartoon kind of uh, style Yeah, for anyone watching, um, I'm going to be uh, doing this scene um, for the next few days. My initial goal was to get uh, these done once a week. I'm planning on probably finish th finishing the inking today. So just the, the drawing in full, except for the colors, the highlights, the shadows. Uh, things like that so just what I'm doing just kind of finishing this aspect of it and then moving on to the next one next week but I think it might take me longer than a week when I stream and I uh, explain things it kind of um, adds a little time to what I'm doing so we'll see Do it like this, and now we'll do it fully because I'm planning on lowering this whole log. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make the log go all the way through over here. Obviously, we're not gonna draw like the end of the log because there's not really a reason to, it's getting covered by. You know this right here we're not gonna draw like 
obviously details behind here or anything either but we're gonna tr we're just gonna try some things out i'm thinking that we put the log up a little higher so it looks like vulture can sort of duck under it a little better so i think that's what we're gonna do um Yeah, we might even move uh, Vulture forward a little bit. We'll see. But because we did that, we have to fix this a little because this will be showing now. back up so with the log I think we're pretty good um, I'm gonna add another details layer so this is just gonna be sort of like the trunk lines I guess the uh, bark if you will and I'm just gonna kind of uh, follow along the trail here I don't know if any other artists relate to this but i kind of have a problem doing bark i feel like it's one of those things that i should like doing a lot but i just i'm never like i'm never like satisfied with how i do like my my bark lines it's like actually a point of contention for me I think in general like details like this because they're so like textural like textural details I think I have an issue with uh, drawing I have like I'm a little uh, handicapped in that sense For now, we'll say that's good. We might redo it later, but that's that's why we, you know, put it on a separate layer. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, right back. I gotta go to the bathroom quick, so I'll do uh, I'll do one of these. Back boy. 
All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are we gonna do next? Mm, 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 mm. All right, I think we should do these uh, background rocks next because they're a big, a pretty big component of the. I guess of the background um, so for now I'm gonna hide all of these and we're gonna or we're gonna put it in a folder first and we're gonna call it uh, midground this piece is gonna be a little strange because um, the foreground, middle ground, and background are, are not really necessarily going to be uh, overlapping each other. It's kind of um, this one big open space with uh, different elements, and there's um, obviously a bunch of water on the ground. So it's it, it, it's a little muddy in terms of uh, composition, I would say, in terms of like layering. But we're going to kind of basically call this the middle ground we're gonna call all of this the background and all of uh, these details the foreground so I think we should start with this rock right here and again we can go through these because this is going to make up the foreground. I say we whoops, see look at this is part of this log because I didn't add enough detail so I got confused. This is the, the bottom of the rock here. I hate to be so so messy on the first day back after four months but we're making our way through it I'm thinking We do something more like that. Whoops. Maybe a couple of keep wanting to make these a little more sharper. So at this point, I'm kind of just uh, revising instead of inking because th this section is a little messy because this is sort of covering it. This tree is sort of covering it. So we're going to make this uh, a refined sketch layer instead of an ink layer. It's a little, uh, little messy, guys. Sorry for the back and forth, the wishy-washy nature of this stream, but sometimes just it just be like that for real for real beat sound like that that one song on fucking Jesus is King by Kanye that sounded cool but it had that fucking trash ass Chick-fil-A bar <laughs> sorry <laughs> I 
apologize. I forgot we're kind of doing a refined layer right now, so we're just gonna. Okay, 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 uh, 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 okay, okay, yeah, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. I also want to mention that I've been calling these rocks, but, um, this one's a rock. This is more like a dirt mound kind of thing. This is also more like a dirt mound kind of thing, sticking up like a little, uh, plateau, if you will. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, so this is our refined layer, because it's not... A final layer we're gonna again put it in a different uh, little color here merge down we're gonna bring the opacity down a little too just so it's even more clear and it hurts your eyes less when you're like zoomed in trying to draw over it so let's see here um whoops Remember, we're using a, a 10 pixel brush. Just trying our best to sort of trace over this, even though we're so zoomed out. Um, I think we do...
pretty good. Are you guys seeing? Are you guys seeing how much time and energy I put into this one little corner? <laughs> Holy shit! Just is what it is sometimes. Gotta do something like that. Kind of angle this a little more. gonna uh, put this into the sketch we'll just name it bg rock sketch not even really important if we keep it or not because we now have this ink layer i'm actually gonna hide it going to do this one that the Numachi is standing on. Just trying to think of the logistics of this. Because I kind of want this one to be connected to this one so that he kind of has like a maybe like a bridge to stand on almost or like a little small platform right here. I think we're gonna. Uh, now nah, we're gonna ink this. I don't want to refine this one. And we're gonna do the uh, these little uh, wrinkle kind of details, ridges, in a little bit. We're gonna do uh, this first.
again, kind of just adding some little patches of grass along this mostly flat surface. I try not to do it on everyone. I like doing, kind of extending the lines on just like the, the big ones. This one might be, yeah, it looks good. pal i'm currently sitting in my works parking lot because i got here early glad to be able to catch part of the stream hey slow five vhs thank you for tuning in brother i appreciate you i'm glad you uh sent me an among us character throwing that ass back in a circle bro on god yes sir we got fucking we got poppy bichetazo 69 i know i pronounced that shit wrong again but what is good brother Glad to see you in here. I feel glad to be back. My uh my fucking voice is gravel gravelier as ever. But we're still here, we're still shining, we're still getting it, we're still grinding. I don't know if uh either one of you got that alert on your phone, but that shit scared the fuck out of me like an hour ago. I put like, I put my phone on my desk and it started like blaring, like right when I did it and I thought it was like feedback from my mic or something. I was like, what the fuck? But uh, but yeah, appreciate both y'all tuning in. I'm going to be making uh, a bunch of these uh, over the next few weeks. This is one out of eight, so I'm going to be streaming a lot. That's for sure. Today I think we're gonna finish like the the drawing portion of this, and then we're gonna get we're gonna move into like uh, coloring it maybe tomorrow. But yeah, tomorrow and the next day I should be streaming as well, same time, 1:30 Central. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see where we go. Uh, I'm just gonna. Do something like this for now because this this sort of uh rock is gonna be tucked away anyway so it really doesn't matter what i do past uh sort of this line right here just do something like that for now I still try to fill in details like this even though I think they're gonna get covered anyway because I might end up moving um, you know pieces of the the work up and down or whatever so it might reveal more of it later on and then I'd have to redraw it if I didn't draw it already so it's really probably not gonna be necessary but 
part of its OCD, part of its planning ahead. And it looks good, so fuck it. Alright, now, I don't want to put this rock and this rock on the same layer because this guy's... The homie, the new Machi, is going to go in between the two of them, so... We'll name this one Rock. <laughs> rock Ink. Fuck. And then we're gonna get a uh, schmoovin' on this rock then. I wish we could just play some uh, fucking RJ Correa, Correa Breathe. Fuck, bro. RJ Correa beats in this bitch. Just a whole a whole playlist of just uh, missiles. But the royalty free ones go. I'm down with that. What the fuck is this? Lo-fi rain therapy beat. Yo, this shit goes crazy. What the fuck? This one sounds like the intro to like a sample pack that you get for like FL Studio. It's like a, it's like a preview. And you're like, all right, bet I'll download that shit. Bro, my computer is tweaking right now. Hello? Okay, when the computer starts tweaking, you gotta hit control S to save that shit, because you never know. That shit in class, bro. Damn, you're in class right now, huh? Whole entire class got it. Everybody's phone went off at the same time. Loud as so oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. My shit's a little delayed. Yeah, bro, I know. The shit was loud as a bitch, dude. I didn't even know my phone could get that loud. 
Bro, what are we listening to right now? Fucking California love right now? What the fuck is this? Get this shit off my shit. It's like the worst version of that song. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like two two parts where there's like grass drooping down on some Bob Ross shit Not to snitch on myself, but I'm pretty sure this, uh, this drum beat. I'm pretty positive this is from a Cymatics loop pack. That's all I'm saying. Not to put this uh, producer whose music I'm using for free right now on blast either, but it seems like they didn't do a whole lot with them drums. I think they found that shit somewhere. Sixteen, Lil Wayne on the speed, <laughs> or whenever, uh, whenever Carter Five drop. It sounds like the the beat with uh, that he the song he had with Travis Scott. What's that shit? Uh, Let it fly. I used to have a lo-fi album, bro, but I was like 14 and shit was ass. By the way, am I on a crazy delay right now or am I tripping a little bit? I think it's just Twitch, though. I don't think it's on you. 
I probably it might even be my my uh my phone too because I know like what I'm watching myself right now dude whoa I'm on a crazy delay yo my bad what is going on what is happening Bro, what? <laughs> Hold up, bro. I think you're on to something, bro. Skip frames detect. Dude, bro, yeah, a lot. This is bad. Um, hold up. What is what is going on? I probably gonna mess with my export quality. We'll put it down to thirty FPS. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Might be my my computer tweaking too. Because I don't have a lot of memory at the moment, so it might be uh, might be capping my frames. I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll see. I'm gonna keep it moving. Either way, the VOD will be up. So if you ever want to like tune in later and look at the video on YouTube, it'll be up. Thanks for letting me know, though, because, shit, I've already been going for, like, an hour and a half, so. Anyway, I think I'm done with this. Let me get back on Twitch on my phone. Anyway, bro, what, what you were saying about your lo-fi album, bro, I, I'm sure it was alright. If you, I mean, <laughs> dude, I would, <laughs> I'd probably play it, like, instead of, uh, like, royalty-free music, or, like, any music you got, like, I'm, I'm, I just need it in, like, long-form content, you know, so it would probably, maybe I'd get, like, a, that might be cool, like, if I get, um, a bunch of artists to, like, add to a playlist of, like, their songs, and then I just have them playing in the background, that's, that would probably be pretty geeked. But the the problem is... I mean, obviously, I don't have, like, a lot of viewers or anything, but... Someone would probably put some, like... Like, really, like, problematic songs in or some shit. Or they'll put, like, fucking Tom McDonald in and I'll have to kill myself. I don't know if I can say that, that on Twitch, but we're gonna just keep rolling. Alright, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna label this rock to ink. And then I'm gonna do this uh, smaller rock here. For this, I'm just gonna do the details right away because it's like so, so simple. I'm just drawing a couple lines here. And I'm not even gonna make them, um, 
like touch the edges so I could easily delete them. So I'll name that rock three and fuck it. Um Alright, this little thing I'm looking at is bothering me. Wait, what the fuck dude? Oh never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. Yeah, we are good. I'm tripping. Alright, let's name these BG Rocks. Whoops. And now I'm gonna do like the background background. So like all of this. And then after that, I'm gonna start drawing like all this grass that I didn't draw and all, all the details on all these things. I think that's where I'm gonna go next. So we're gonna put this behind the mid ground. And then we're going to draw I think it's best to start by drawing this like horizon line here. And then I can kind of draw over it. Alright, just gonna name it BG Rising. Damn, this is really delayed though. That sucks. Bro, it does not have a... Why is this beat like... 
Not even in a scale, man. What is this music, bro? Holy shit. Bro, bro, bro. How do I fix this shit? I might not be able to fix it while I'm streaming low key. That sucks, dude. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to keep moving. Maybe I'll try to fix it before tomorrow's stream. Like I said, um, just watch the VOD if uh, you want to see sort of the progress of this. Eventually, probably like a couple months from now, I'll probably have, uh, I'll probably have the whole progress video uh, for each of the art pieces that I'm doing. So... It'll be uh, obviously sped up so you can see the progress, but yeah. Okay, let's see where we at, where we at. All right, I'm gonna just start doing. most of this background stuff I'm just gonna probably put it all in one layer just to make it easy because um, most of it really isn't that complex of sort of a design I guess now whoever listened to Atomic Donald in 2023 needs to <laughs> keep themselves safe yeah yeah for sure <laughs> So this is all stuff that goes behind the horizon line. Classify it by that. Whoops.
by the way bro what you making right now so um 